Hey guys, today we are unboxing the Bioshock 2 Subject Delta and Little Sister Figure by 3-0. And we have the box over here. And the back. This is the exclusive version, by the way, with the extra Big Daddy plush. So we're gonna open this up right now. So, you need three uh, AG13 batteries to turn on the light-up feature in the helmet and you need an extra three AG3 batteries to turn on the light in the hand. Uh, and if you want to change the drill to have an extra hand, you can do it and that's how you do it. Now, I'm not going to do it because I want to keep the drill on. Now, uh, it looks like there's only one hand that has a light up in it uh, on the figure and it's this one over here it has this little piece that you can remove here while the four other hands do not have a, a piece that can be removed you cannot remove it which means you cannot put batteries in them and you cannot turn on the light up feature which kind of sucks now we get this little paper that says that they changed the the position of the gears during production okay so we have our figure here with all the accessories uh, with the, the extra plush big daddy exclusive plush and we have this um, tiny thing I'm not sure what it is you just put it in here super easy now I'm gonna put the batteries in uh, I do not have the AG3 batteries Unfortunately, so I cannot show the light up in the hand, but I'm gonna put the AG Tartine batteries in the tank to turn on the light up in the head, and that's what it looks like. And it's honestly pretty cool. I really like the light up in this one. I'm gonna turn off the lights. Alright, that's what it looks like. The lights off. It's honestly really nice. You can see a little closer here. It's got this dirt uh, in it, which is kind of cool. Yeah, really nice light up feature. Uh, now we're gonna have a 360 view at the figure with the little sister. And there's actually a lot of details in the back of this figure with the tank here it's really nice this thing here to hold the little sister and we got the drill these aren't attached very strongly so you can remove them to put uh, the extra hand instead of the drill so you have to be careful with these now I'm going to show you uh, the details and I'm actually really happy with this one. I really like the materials they used on it. You have uh, all this kind of leather everywhere and it looks pretty good. It's got a lot of, um, of wear everywhere and I think it's pretty well done. I think they got this one pretty, pretty good. The little sister is also really nice. And we have the drill here, which also has a lot of detail in it. Yeah, I like it. And we have the back here again with a lot of detail as well. And um, yeah, little sister. It has a lot of dirt on the little sister. And we can see the exclusive Big Daddy plush here, which is nice. But if you can get only the regular, then go with the regular. And we have again all the wear on her, which is really nice. Yep. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you the articulations. Now, of course, uh, it's extremely limited. As you can see, uh, there's not much you can do with it. Uh, the shoulder is actually pretty good, as you can see. But 
uh, the rest of the figure is is very very limited because of all the the leather and the cloth on it. The hands actually good. And if you want to put the drill in the air, well, like that, because it, it looks cool. You can't, or at least I cannot do it on mine, because it keeps falling. It doesn't hold. Um, we have the legs here, which don't really stay in place very well. And we have the knee. The knee is actually really, really good, as you can see. Pretty good articulation here. And we have the feet, which are pretty average. Really average. They're just fine. So, yeah, very limited articulations. If you want to pose it, it's not that easy to get some, you know, different poses with it. You can get a couple of, of poses, but really not this many because of the articulations which are quite limited and please stay in place <laughs> all right so these are the poses i was able to to get him to take with little sister and that's pretty much all i was able to do so yeah very limited unfortunately now we have the little sister and she's much better of course you can see the joints on it which doesn't look super good, but at least we got a good range for the articulations on this one, as you can see. It is pretty good. Very good. And the head is fine. And the arms are also pretty good. So yeah, quite good articulations on the little sister. Like that. So, this is uh, my size comparison. We have the, the uh, other Big Daddy by 3.0 and other Bioshock stuff. And this figure is 13, about 13 inches tall, and it is one C scale. So here it is with another one C scale figure, and you can see it's pretty much the same size, which I guess makes sense. And for those of you who aren't very familiar with those figures, this is what it looks like beside a PS3 controller and a PS3 game. So these are pretty big figures. So uh, that's it for this review. I really like this one, really like the materials they used, really like the detail and the light up feature on it. Um, very limited articulations, but other than that I think it's a pretty nice figure and I do recommend it to the Bioshock fans. Um, yeah, very nice. So that's pretty much it for this review. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see you soon.